Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Carly. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. I had sent you this poster on Remind app on Friday and I said that I would be going over it today. So I'm gonna go over it with you right now. And then after that, I'm gonna go over this little handy dandy clock that I um, said that I was waiting for to come in that I ordered on Amazon. So I'll go over that too. So let's begin. It says all about time. Just want to review some important points with you, okay? First, it says the shorthand gives the hours. And you see I put that in blue because this is the shorthand pointing to what number? The three. So it's at three o'clock hour. Then it says the longer hand is the minutes. That's in pink. Here's the long hand pointing directly at the 12, which means the three o'clock hour just began. Then here's some important information that we went over as well. 60 seconds equals a minute. 60 minutes equals an hour, 30 minutes equals one half hour. Notice Ms. Harling also wrote it as a fraction because we've been talking about fractions or we were talking about fractions before we started doing time and I want you to see how they're related. Then it goes on to say 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. Now that's not a three boys and girls, that's a one because I made a mistake. It's one fourth of an hour. That's the same as saying a quarter of an hour which equals 15 minutes because you can hear adults saying things like that it's quarter after three or it's quarter past 12 that really equals 15 minutes but they're saying it as a fraction even though it's written here in words it's really a fraction so we're going to talk about that down here is where i mentioned some important points again speaking of fractions if you look right here it says one fourth of an hour which i just said is a quarter of an hour which equals 15 minutes each 15 minute part of this clock represents a quarter of an hour and I wrote it down here. When the minute hand passes three sections, it's been 15 minutes. So this pink section is five, 10, 15 minutes. That's a quarter of an hour. This section is three parts, five, 10, 15. That's a quarter of an hour, that light green. Here is the purple section, it's three sections. Uh, 5, 10, 15. These three numbers equal a quarter of an hour. Here's another quarter of an hour. 5, 10, 15. If you count the 10, the 11, and the 12 together, those are three sections of the clock. That equals 15 minutes or a quarter of an hour. So you can hear people use that term a lot when they're saying that 15 minutes has passed by. All right. Next is a half hour, which we already know, but we can also write that as a fraction. And it tells you down here, half hour equals 30 minutes. And the minute hand must move halfway around the face. So there's your 15, or excuse me, there's your 30 minutes, which equals half an hour. And it, you can see that just like when we talked about fractions, half of that circle is shaded. That represents 30 minutes, but it also represents one half of an hour. And then down here, you've got uh, three quarters of an hour. And that means that three quarters of an hour means that 45 minutes have passed by. The minute hand moves to the nine. So you start at 12. This is zero. Remember, we talked about that on our math sheet. And then if you count by fives, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Once 45 minutes of the clock has passed, you could say that that's three quarters of an hour or three fourths of an hour. Because if you notice, you only got a fourth of an hour left to go. So how much has passed? Three fourths of an hour. So I wanted to go over that with you to make sure you remember what those terms mean because you'll hear me talk about them and you'll hear adults say that all the time. Now, here is my little handy dandy clock. Let me just zoom out a little bit here so you can see it. And I'm not gonna start with the time first. I'm just gonna move these together. But I just want you to take a look at my clock for a second. And I put some sticky notes around the clock to make you understand or to help you to understand the different terms uh, that you can hear uh, on a worksheet or if I'm talking about time. And here, we know this is where the first hour begins, o'clock, which is just zero, zero if you're looking at a digital clock. So right now, it's 12 o'clock. So you would write the 12 and then zero, zero after it. 
then if you go clockwise, the one we know represents five minutes, and I put that here, five minutes past. Then the two is 10 minutes, that's 10 minutes past. And we know between the one and the two are the ticks. This could be 1206, 1207, 1208, 1209, and then of course that's 1210. So that's 10 past the hour. Here I've got the 15 minutes on the three, which we know now is a quarter past the hour, which is the 15 minutes. Moving to the four, if we're counted by fives, this would be 20 minutes past the hour, right? Going to the five, that would be 25 minutes past the hour. Then notice that I made this pink too, and over here it's pink. We know this is a quarter of an hour, and this is what? This is your half hour, which is 30 minutes past the hour, or a fraction, one out of two. This could have been a fraction too, one fourth, that's a quarter of an hour, like I showed you on the poster behind me. Then moving to this side of the clock, notice I did the sticky notes in blue because now we're going past the 30 minute mark, which I talked to you about as well. And now if you're going past the 30 minutes, you only have another 30 minutes until the new hour begins. So right now we're still at 12, but if I wanted to change this and put this now at 12, 30, if I can move it here, I just got this, so these are kind of stiff, so let me just get them on there for you. So here, you've got 12.30, half of an hour has gone by, but if I start moving this minute hand, what starts happening to the shorthand? It starts to move closer to the one, because the one o'clock hour is coming. So like I said, these sticky notes over on this side are blue, because now we're moving toward the new hour and it's a different way to say things. So for the blue, it's 25 minutes to one o'clock. We're not gonna say 25 minutes past, we're gonna now say 25 minutes to, because now we're getting closer to the next hour. So if I move it again, and again, my shorthand is between the 12 and the one. Now I'm not at 35 minutes anymore, I'm at 40 minutes, and again, it says it here. Um, instead of saying 40 minutes, I'm going to say we have 20 minutes to the next hour. Yes, it represents 40 minutes when we're counting by fives, but you can also say in 20 minutes it will be 1 o'clock because you've got 5, 10, or excuse me, 5, 10, 15, 20, and it's almost 1 o'clock. Then again, this uh, sticky note is in pink. It's quarter to the new hour, which is 45 minutes, which is also a fraction, three-fourths of an hour. Then I went back to the blue. Okay, let me just change that. Getting real close to one o'clock, guys. So then the blue uh, sticky note again says 10 minutes to. Yes, we know that this 50 minutes has gone by if we count all the way around the clock to the 10. Yes, 50 minutes has gone by. But when people are giving the time, if someone said, what time is it? And you were giving the time, you might not say it's 50 minutes after 12. You would probably say 10 minutes to, and the next hour is gonna be one o'clock. So you would say 10 minutes to one. And then the last sticky note up here, it's uh, now, if I move it to the 11, yes, we know that 55 minutes have gone by, there's your 55 minutes, there I have it up on the sticky note, but it also really means five minutes to, again, if someone asked you what time it was, you might say one, or excuse me, you might say 12.55, but a lot of times people say it's five minutes to one because they know the one o'clock hour is coming very soon. And then of course, we move it back to the 12, 60 minutes has now gone by, and it is a, exactly one o'clock so you would write one and then zero zero because the new hour has just begun so that was just a little bit of what i wanted to show you with this clock i think like i said last week i'm also going to go over some elapsed time with you on this clock because the next couple lessons in the go math talk about elapsed time and I know if you don't have a clock at home, you can look at mine and I can show you how to move the hour hand and the long hand that tells the minutes 
to show you how much time has gone by. So we'll do that. But again, I did show you a video, I believe it was last week, at the beginning of last week, um, I put up a video on YouTube about elapsed time because that to me is the most difficult for kids to understand. So please go back and watch that video on elapsed time because you'll see how they're showing you the clock moves so you can see when something started and when it ended because that's basically what elapsed time is. You have to find the time in between, how much time has passed between something you started and something that you ended. So we'll get into all of that, but I just wanted to go over this full, uh, this poster with you because I sent it to you on Remind App and I finally got my clock, so I wanted to go over that with you too. So look for the next video coming today on the next couple pages of Go Math that are in your packet and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye guys.